At midnight, the Lord would send the death angel to strike down the firstborn son of every household. There was only one way to escape death. God said, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. The animals you choose must be year old males without defect. Do not break any of the bones. Select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood in the basin, and put some of the blood on the top and on both sides of the door frame. Not one of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on the top and sides of the door frame and will pass over that doorway. He will not permit the destroyer to enter in your houses and strike you down. What if that day somebody heard God's message through Moses, but then did not put blood on their doorway? Would simply knowing the truth be enough to save them from death? No, knowing God's message was not enough to save them. They had to also believe it and then apply the blood to their doorway. What if someone else decided that instead of putting blood on their doorway, they were gonna put up a sign. And on that sign, it would say, we are good people. We are religious. We give to the poor. We are law-abiding citizens that seek to live at peace with everyone. Maybe you too have thought that God will accept you based on these same qualities in your life. But what would happen that night when the angel of death passed over that home? Would God be so impressed with that person's good deeds and spare them? No. Egyptian or Israelite, poor or rich, good or bad, none of those things mattered on that night. Before God, only one factor determined whether they lived or died. If a lamb, perfect and without blemish, had died in their place, God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. 